USA and PK has got the quicker car. The World Cup of Motorsport A1 GP was an open wheeled category which ran from 2005 to 2009 where drivers instead of driving for a team they drove for their country of origin but I mean they, they, they still did drive for a team but you know the country was the team the team was the country thus where it got the name the World Cup of Motorsport A1 GP's brainchild was Shiki Mc Shik Sh this guy's name so anyway once funding was received by the FIA to run this category, it began. The series worked off a franchise system, allowing countries, teams to buy a franchise and run in the series. And for the first year in 2005, there were 25 franchises, which meant 25 teams on the grid. So for the first year, I'd say that's a pretty healthy looking grid. So in 2005, the category kicked off in a blimey mate, God save the Queenland. It started in the, in the UK. Now, for this first season, there were meant to be 12 events with 24 races, but a cancelled event in Brazil made it 11 rounds. But with that, the series still went to places such as Australia, Germany, UAE, South Africa, India, India? I mean, Indonesia, Mexico, and China. To be honest with you, it seems like it has a better mixture of countries than a fucking Formula 1 does at the moment. And for the inaugural season, there were, well, by today's standards, at least some big names in the cars too. People like Joss Verstappen, Alex Prema, Nelson Piquet Jr., Nicholas Lapierre, IndyCar champ Will Power, and Will Davidson. Now, following the 2005 season, four teams pulled out in the 06 season, with some minor changes to the racing distances in order to improve the spectacle for TV viewers, blah, 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 blah. You know, just the usual, uh, the usual shit that we usually see today with, uh, with racing categories. Now, after the first few seasons in 08, the category decided to spruce things up a bit and bring in a Formula 1 powerhouse, Ferrari, to build the cars and engines, putting a bit of a, a bit more pedigree behind the category that in the eyes of many was already failing. However, this didn't last long as the cars were only used for one season before disaster struck and the whole 2009 season got cancelled. So. As the title says, how did the category fail? What happened? Well, there's a myriad of, uh, a myriad of different reasons why this category failed, um, which we'll go into now, I guess. You know, there was a lot of factors and then, you know, the recession of the, the GFC, sorry, didn't, didn't help either. Well, first of all, as in every other racing category, you know, whether it be NASCAR, IndyCar, V8 Supercars, Formula One, whatever it is, People follow a specific team or driver. Well, in A1GP, that wasn't the case, obviously, you know. But they found out quickly that not everybody wanted to just follow a specific country. And with the constant rotation of drivers and, to be honest with you, some pretty mediocre performances by a lot of these drivers as well, a lot of good drivers were being rotated out for, you know, people being respective, you know, to, to these people quite amateur drivers they were being replaced by amateur drivers basically now i couldn't find a lot of depth to this one but the ferrari deal that management organized was terrible in the eyes of many with the deal being negotiated poorly and car shortages leading to the demise of the category now this is another blah, 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 blah. fuck's sake hang on another problem was that the series was held in winter meaning that most of the races had to take place over in asia with only the start of the series and the end of the of the season uh being in europe the season would struggle to attract audiences, especially with the broadcasting, you know, for Europeans at least, being at 6 o'clock in the morning, you know. It, that's, whoa, I wouldn't, I would not be waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning to watch A1GP, I'm sorry. Overall, with all this, you know, it is a shame that the category did fold and, you know, no longer exists because, you know, it looked good, it looked good on paper, but, you know, it didn't look so bright in reality. But I mean, hey, it, you know, it would be awesome to see something like this back again. You know, we do have Formula E to fill that winter motorsports series uh, thirst that some of us have. Um, but, you know, in the meantime, I guess we do have the FIA motorsport game. So that that's a plus. But uh, yeah, you know, let us know. Let me know. You know, would would you like to see a one GP back? You know, I personally, I, I would think it would be uh, pretty cool to see it back, you know, especially with today's popularity of open wheel formula one cars and stuff like that i think i think it would be good but who knows you know maybe there isn't a market for it maybe there is but only time will tell i guess